Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of transpiration in plants. In the last few videos we've been looking at how water moves through a plant. We've seen that the cells on the inside of leaves are covered with a thin layer of water. This water can evaporate and the water vapour can then diffuse out of the stomata down the concentration gradient to the external air. Scientists call this process transpiration. Now the rate of transpiration depends on a number of different factors. The first factor is light intensity. I'm showing you the effect of light intensity on the rate of transpiration here. Remember that for transpiration to take place, the stomata must be open. Stomata open in light conditions to allow carbon dioxide to diffuse into the leaf and take part in photosynthesis. As you can see, as we increase the light intensity, the rate of transpiration increases. This is because increasing light intensity increases the number of open stomata, allowing more water vapour to diffuse out of the leaf. However, at high light intensities, the rate of transpiration no longer increases. That's because at high light intensities, almost all of the stomata will be open. The next factor is relative humidity. I'm showing you here the leaf cross section again. Remember that water vapour diffuses out of the leaf down the concentration gradient. That's because the concentration of water vapour outside the leaf is generally lower than inside. Now the relative humidity tells us the concentration of water vapour in the air as a percentage of the maximum possible. So for example, 100% relative humidity means that the concentration of water vapour is as high as it possibly could be. If the relative humidity outside the leaf increases, for example on a humid day, then that means that there's a smaller concentration gradient between the inside of the leaf and the outside. So increasing the relative humidity outside the leaf reduces the rate of transpiration. The rate of transpiration is increased by temperature. Firstly, at higher temperatures, water molecules have more kinetic energy. And this means that there's a greater rate of evaporation of water from the internal surface of the leaf. Secondly, at higher temperatures, the relative humidity of the external air decreases. So due to these two effects, the concentration gradient of water vapour between the inside of the leaf and the external air increases at higher temperatures. And this increases the rate of transpiration. The rate of transpiration is also affected by the movement of the air. When water vapour moves out of the stomata during transpiration, that water vapour can build up around the external surface of the leaf. The effect of this is to reduce the concentration gradient for water vapour between the inside of the leaf and the outside, and this reduces the rate of transpiration. Air movement such as wind removes the water vapour as it diffuses out of the leaf. So because air movements increase the concentration gradient of water vapour, the effect of this is to increase the rate of transpiration. The rate of transpiration falls on still days when there's little air movement. So as we've seen, there are four main factors that influence the rate of transpiration. The rate of transpiration can also be affected by the level of water in the soil. As we saw in the last video, in drought conditions the roots of a plant produce a hormone. This hormone triggers stomata to close. The effect of this is to reduce the rate of transpiration, reducing water loss by the plant. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the factors that affect the rate of transpiration. 